Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to take a look at those of you who have significant placements of cancer who are males anywhere in your birth chart. Before we do that, I would like to invite you all to book your own personal session with me. My website is www.divinelotustarot.com and you can find the link to that website under this video. Also, I want to invite you to follow my social media accounts and you will be able to find those that account information under this video as well. So yes, you can find that information, anything that you have any questions about under this video in the description link box below. And let's go ahead and get into the reading for you all. So this reading is for those of you who have significant placements of cancer who are males in your birth chart. So getting into some of your preliminary like channel messages before we even pull cards on your energy. Um, I was, I'm getting the indication that some of you are needing to be more expressive with your um, feelings and your emotions about the things that you are experiencing and that you're going through in your life. Um, I feel like you need to feel or, or you need to open up and be more comfortable about expressing the things that you are dealing with, um, especially those of you who are having any significant like life, lifestyle um, changes going on because I feel like first and foremost it's going to be very helpful for you to vent and um, release this off of yourself so you're not just suppressing your feelings and your emotions I do feel like there's a specific like audience that you have some type of connection with or you will be able to build some type of connection with that really does need to hear your testimonies that need to hear your story that will be able to relate to you and that will be able to have much um, success from you from so the things that you have been through and experienced essentially it has been like um in order for you to share this with other individuals so some of you may feel like it's been very hard and challenging the things that you've been through but i feel like it's been purposeful um Meaning that the things that you have went through was for the sake of you not keeping it to yourself, suppressing it, feeling shame, feeling guilty about it, but for you to take it and use it as a tool, a resource to help other individuals who are going through similar things or just people who would just be interested and who could learn from your situation, okay? So yes, I feel like you're being asked to look from a different perspective look with new eyes at the things that you have been through um because i feel like you may have felt like you've been through a lot of challenging situations and that you may have definitely but i feel like a lot of the things that you went through has been for you to be able to be i'm hearing like a cornerstone for like other individuals you're meant to be like a healing element a healing energy um i'm getting like feminine energy around you especially because you know the cancerian energy it's water energy that's related to the mother so that's very much feminine energy and i feel like you have a natural healing essence about you i i'm hearing cool you could have like a, a cool type of energy about you or you may be like a cooling type of agent that could um be helpful to other individuals to maybe like help cool their situations but i i'm hearing breeze now so yeah so you could have some type of cooling and breeze type of um element about you that is healing to other individuals so i feel like there is something about your nature that um it could even just be your presence i mean you may not have to some of you may be in the healing field or you may have the ability or maybe an interest to go into like a healing field or healing modality and healing doesn't just have to be like a doctor i mean this this could be spiritual healing um musicians are healers this could be a motivational speaker this could be a cook you know this could be a teacher um i feel like you know like a mentor so I feel like there's several different, you know, um, channels and fields that your energy and your presence is very helpful, okay, and needed. And I feel like as well, too, you're just being asked to, I'm hearing be the bigger person, okay? So some of you, maybe some of you have been moping 
Maybe some of you have been complaining. Maybe some of you have been playing the victim about why you have been put through certain trials and tribulations. And I get it, I get it, I get it. I have a lot of water placements in my birth chart as well too. So I totally get it, you know, being very emotional and just feeling emotionally distraught about things that come upon you because when you got a lot of water placements or just significant water placements in your birth chart, you know, things hit you and affect you way differently than it would any other person. And I feel like that's part of the blessing. You know what I'm saying? Um, what feels so tough and, and crushing when you go through those experiences, it's meant to actually, once you come out on the other side, be a, a stepping stool for you to be able to help and bless others. You're supposed to, you're, you're being um, put in a position. It's a privilege. It's an honor. If you look at it in that manner, to be a resource to other individuals who need your type of healing because of the way that you've experienced the situation you know how it feels you know how deep it hits you you know how deep to the core you know you felt in certain experiences so that way you can definitely have a a, a very significant emotional um impact on other individuals you know that like i said maybe going through similar things that you are going through or just going through their own types of trials and tribulations and i feel like your emotional um healing is needed in those types of situations in whatever manner that it may be like I said for some of you it could just be your presence you know just your just your presence in a situation you may not even have to say anything or do anything it may not necessarily be a career that you have to do or an activity it could just be sometimes your presence is just enough okay but I definitely feel like by you speaking on certain things um it definitely is a path that um would be helpful for you to heal you as well too so by is what i'm seeing by by you stepping into this position of you know realizing that the things that you've been through i see maybe like childhood experiences as well too um you could use those to serve the greater good of other individuals by sharing your testimony or sharing any type of helpful resources that you've had by overcoming or by um learning to manage whatever this is that you've been dealing with okay so i feel like you've had to endure a lot and i feel like you've had to be strong and overcome a lot um but i do see ultimately that you know you are a powerful like beacon of light because your emotional vulnerability has just really put you in a position where you know people just naturally do feel good around you when you're using your energy in a very um i want to say positive way okay so you you have the ability to really tap into like your empathic nature and really use it for a positive manner to really help other individuals and that's a blessing right that is that's such a blessing um and i just feel like your healing others helps you heal i feel like sometimes that's all you need to do um in a situation i feel like that type of generosity goes a long way for you and it comes back and blesses you tremendously. So I feel like your emotional, your emotional um, availability is going to actually benefit you. So you just may want to consider that for those of you who have been not connecting to it or hiding it or trying to suppress it or trying to act like, you know, certain things don't bother you. Like, it's okay because I feel like your pain is meant to help you heal others therefore it's going to help you because you're going to get the benefit and the joy out of seeing that it was not for nothing that you experienced that especially when you see the amount of individuals who you who you impact okay in a positive manner okay so some of you have some gifts some of you have psychic 
or spiritual gifts that you're not tapping into and yeah um some of you can read shells is what i'm getting so if you feel like a natural inclination to like go to the water like natural bodies of water like the ocean um or yeah because i feel like that's where shells would be i don't think shells would be by lakes or anything i don't know but i know the ocean you can usually find shells or any other area where you can find like i mean seashells seashells okay um so yeah i guess that would be the ocean or or any other type of body of water where you would be able to find seashells seashells okay um so i feel like some of you do have natural psychic abilities that you're not tapping into okay so that's just something to consider right there and some of you very well i'm hearing are clairvoyant okay some of you have clairvoyant abilities some of you can read seashells okay so that's why i was saying if you, if you feel a natural inclination that goes to like the ocean or you feel like a natural connection to the ocean and things of that nature i feel like that's because some of you have this ability um to read uh seashells but uh, let's see let's look at that because that's kind of interesting it's like the ocean calls you i feel like some of you have a calling some of you already know this you just are trying to like ignore it is what i'm getting interesting so maybe you you're already aware of this and maybe you don't want to believe it it kind of seems like it's kind of like disbelief like some of you don't want to believe this i'm getting very strong like ocean energy around you all you have a very strong connection to the ocean and once again yeah okay so maybe some of you may want to look into this because you definitely could get money I don't want to make it sound like that, but I feel like for those of you, like if you're looking for another stream of income or if you're in the midst of like a career change, it could be because you're trying, you're, like the universe is trying to lead you towards your like calling. And I'm seeing, like I said, specifically seashells. Some of you can read seashells. So you may want to, if you've been going to the ocean and the seashells are like, the resonating with you or speaking to you or you just feel very called to like collect them or pick them up or something like that then that could be why but besides that i just feel this besides that it could just be your spiritual gifts are awakening and some of you are just essentially like trying to um like downplay it or ignore it um but no yeah you may want to look into it because i just feel like there is going to be abundance that comes through that means um that you're trying to downplay so i definitely feel like the universe is trying to get you to go in that direction because that's more naturally aligned to some of yours path so if you feel like i i guess if this is for those of you where you kind of already have been given like this inkling and you've been trying to like resist or deny it i feel like that's where your money's going to come from so it kind of feels like if you keep trying to do other things besides this, the universe is going to keep trying to lead you back to this. And them other means is not going to like be successful for you. That's what it feels like. So you might want to try to like go with the flow of where you're being head, uh, directed because that's where your prosperity is going to lie ultimately. So you might want to not try to lean on your own understanding because your own understanding kind of got you up in your head and it has you like doubting the the path that you're being led to go you're not meant to lean on your own understanding because yeah maybe it don't make sense and maybe this is not the path that you thought you were going to take or supposed to take to what you thought you were supposed to be doing but hey i mean that's what it looks like i'm, I'm seeing ways of prosperity so you might want to you might want to get in alignment with it okay okay i heard plantation so this message is relating to those of you where your ancestors may have been slaves okay so with that being said this could be a gift that you inherited 
and you are awakening to it essentially is what I'm getting um so yes this is a confirmation I guess this is what this reading is this reading is confirmation for those of you who have been in doubt and in disbelief that you're meant to be a healer a spiritual healer okay um so the first part was general this part is more so for those of y'all who are meant to be spiritual healers okay um in like like with your psychic abilities and whatnot so yes this is confirmation that you do have <laughs> you do have um psychic powers and you are meant to use them and i feel like if you've been inclined to start a business then this is your confirmation for that i feel like as well too your in your ancestors have um been trying to get your attention so you may want to start co connecting to your ancestors okay because i do see that their presence has been around you that could be as well too while you have been having um maybe issues with going to sleep okay or why you just feel like you can't stop thinking about something or get something off your mind or if you're waking up awakening at certain times or waking up at um like around the same time or it's hard for you to go to sleep things of that nature i just feel like there's some type of disruption with your sleep pattern and i feel like it's because your ancestors are trying to connect with you and i feel like they're trying to help lead and steer and guide you but i also feel like it's well too like once you get into this and accept it <laughs> I mean, for those of you that choose to do this, I mean, because you could choose not to, and then, I mean, you could just see where that leads you, and that's cool, you know, um, but I'm talking to the individuals who, you know, are feeling like you've been trying it your way, and now, you know, you, you need some answers, some guidance, and you want to do something a different way, well, this is your ancestors trying to get your attention, you know, for you to hone into the gift that they have passed on to you um it may not be a gift that everyone in your family have so it may be a gift that has just awakened in you which means this is a, a ancestral inheritance that was meant just for you to essentially answer the call so you may be the first in your family okay um and that could be maybe why some of you are I'm hearing startled you may be a little startled by this um i also heard latent so maybe some of you feel like if you would have had psychic powers you would have known or you would have had them a long time ago but no latent means that they you know wake up later in people they may have already always been there just dormant lying there waiting for you to get to certain some certain type of age for you to inherit this because it feels like an ancestral um gift you know what i'm saying so it may have been a certain type of age you needed to um reach or it may have just been maybe some type of significant like point in your life um or some type of significant event that caused for these to open up um because you also have to be aware that I feel like maybe some of y'all if you just went through an ending some type of major ending like you got fired or you quit a job or you got laid off or you went through a divorce or a breakup then you might have been around individuals who were blessing blockers and your ancestors were not about to allow you to open up your spiritual gifts around those individuals um they also may have just been individuals who was in like what's the word they were essentially blessing blockings uh so they, they were blocking your connection to your spirit to the spirit world to your spirit guides to your ancestors so then that way you're they they're not able to connect to you if you got individuals or energies around you that's you know not conducive to what you're meant to do and now that whatever it is that you released or has left your energetic field and whatever this is this even could be i'm hearing dietary changes or just maybe um lifestyle changes even as well too so it could be several different things um people places things um that you may have changed 
um, or that may have changed um, recently that is allowing for you to now just be more receptive to this gift, okay, or these gifts for you to tap into. Um, yeah. Oh, but that's what I was going to say. So for those of you, because like I said, it's always a choice. If you choose to, um, I'm hearing enlist and move forward and tap into this, which even though I feel like if you don't, like, I feel like, mm, I feel like your ancestors are going to continue to like put pressure on you and kind of like force you. Like the ones where you, this is like a gift that you're supposed to be doing. Like, I just feel like they're not going to let up all for you because I just, they feel very, um, persistent. Okay. That's what I feel. They feel very persistent, but, um. I feel like once you get into this, get into the groove of it, go with the flow, okay? Um, I feel like things are going to lighten up. It'll be easier for you. And then I feel like you'll have more fun and you'll enjoy it, okay? This also could be like you being able to make friends, okay? Is what I'm seeing. So you may be able to make some new friends. Um, or this is helping you to make new friends. I guess maybe for those of you who are concerned or worried about like your friends, so maybe you're worried about like your social status or something of that nature but you're going to have new friends that you'll be able to come into contact with you have a new community of individuals that will like resonate with you that'll be open receptive and you don't got to worry about that okay okay i'll be honest um i am so enamored by this whole seashell <laughs> spiritual gift thing like i'm trying to stay here and get more information but it's like i'm being led to go to other aspects of the reading because that's not the main focal point what i'm also being led to tell you is i see some of you are in the music industry or you're trying to get into the music industry i feel like maybe for some of you the reason why it's either been very stressful for you you've been having like like a lot of stress that happens to you due to this um or it's just been very challenging or difficult for you to receive the type of like uh, recognition or the rewards that you would like to see is because I feel like your ancestors are trying to lead you on a path that's better suited with you being a healer now some of you it will specifically be like in the spiritual field okay and that would be like I said those of you who have psychic abilities and gifts that you are being led to further develop and explore okay um, but for others of you like I said in the beginning of the video and if you don't remember just go back to the beginning and <laughs> watch what we were initially talking about about the different paths that you could take to be a healer that does not necessarily entail the um like being in, in the medical field you know what i'm saying or just even a spiritual healer like there's other avenues where you and your service and your healing nature and your your essence is necessary so i feel like that is more so where you're going to find the success that you're looking for the recognition that you're looking for the security that you're looking for i feel like a lot of you have been trying to measure your level of happiness in accordance to your money and i feel like once you really start to develop and tap into and really get into the path that you're supposed to be on you're going to realize that your level of success um is going to be not necessarily measured by your money but by your emotional fullness okay and, but that's just you know something that you need to see for yourself okay and um also before we wrap this reading up um it really looks like some of you are going to get the security like the wealth the security and the true love that you're looking for by following the path that you're being led to take so whatever path that you know you're trying to be directed to and you keep trying to avert yourself to a whole nother you know industry or field or career that doesn't align with you um that you you know you might keep getting some type of pushback and whatnot i feel like you're going to be um able to find the love and the wealth and security just going with what is aligned with your soul path and it's it's interesting because it seems like some of you have either been like i'm getting like ranting and raving and your ancestors have seen this like you you may be complaining ranting and raving about like the disrespect and not being appreciated and not getting the recognition that you deserve some of you may also be praying you may have been praying for some type of change to come about and then others of you i see a vision board 
so there have been things that you have done that has essentially brought this answer to you but it may not have come in the manner that you you thought it was going to come like i feel like there's like several different doors before you but you keep trying to go through this one particular door not realizing that they're all like there is opportunities that expand like beyond the door that you keep trying to walk through that is not for you period okay and i'm gonna leave it off right there if you would like to book a personal session with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed y'all